The opening of Mecca. Since migrating to Medina, the Muslims could not return to their homeland, Mecca, due to the hostilities of the Quraysh. However, their hearts still miss Mecca, especially the Kaaba that became the Qibla in their daily prayers. So, in the sixth year of the Hijrah, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gathered the Muslims to take them all on a pilgrimage to Mecca for the first time. However, after arriving at a place called Hudaybiyah, which was situated 18 miles north of Mecca, their journey was stopped by the Quraysh. The Muslims were not allowed to enter Mecca but will only be allowed to perform their pilgrimage the next year with a condition they must first sign a peace treaty that will be effective for 10 years. The Hudaybiyah Treaty had outlined that there should not be any war between the Muslims and the Quraysh or anyone who supported any party among them. Besides that, any person fled from the Quraysh to Islam without their family's consent must be returned, but any Muslims who fled to the Quraysh will not be returned. The Muslims will only be allowed to stay in Mecca for three days when performing the Hajj. Although the agreement seemed unfair and discriminatory, Rasulullah saw the advantage to the agreement. He took the opportunity to spread Islam even wider. Missionary envoys were sent to the states as far away as Rome, Persia and Egypt. Thus, the number of Muslims had increased by doubles. However, the peace treaty didn't last that long. In the second year of the agreement, the Quraysh betrayed the Muslims. They have ambushed a group of Muslims at night and killed them all ruthlessly. So, Rasulullah gathered all the strength of the Muslims and headed towards Mecca. The Muslim soldiers, who now grew to more than 10,000 people, entered the city of Mecca and captured it without any resistance. When they arrived in Mecca, Rasulullah entered the Kaaba and immediately took out around 360 idols that were in the Kaaba. Prophet Muhammad wasallam read the word of Allah, which means, and declare, the truth has come and falsehood has vanished. For falsehood is a thing that must by its nature vanish. Surah Al-Isra, verse 81. With that, Islam had returned to its birthplace and until now, the city of Mecca al muqarramah maintained as the holiest site for the Muslims and is visited by people around the world every single year. The End <laughs>